All right, we've talked about Carnot heat engines. Now let's talk about Carnot refrigerators and heat pumps. Now, first of all, don't get heat engines confused with refrigerators and heat pumps. All right, they're very different, okay? Now, refrigerators and heat pumps are the same thing. All right, refrigerators and heat pumps are the same thing, basically. They're, they're the same cycle. It's just, you know, instead of... Uh, for the refrigerator, what we're really concerned with is the QL that it is absorbing from the cold food and it's pushing QH out the back of the uh, refrigerator. The heat pump, we are really interested in the QH that it is pushing out the back or, you know, in this case, like into the room. We're not really concerned about the QL that it's absorbing from the outside colder air. Uh, refrigerators and heat pumps use work. It takes work in order to move heat transfer to a, a way that it normally naturally wouldn't go all right whereas heat engines take heat and spit out work right we get work out of heat engines uh, from heat but refrigerators and heat pumps we have to put work into them to pump heat transfer in a direction it naturally would not go all right and like I said, the difference between refrigerators and heat pumps, although they are the, the same device, the same processes, uh, the refrigerator, we're really concerned with the QL. The heat pump, we're really concerned with the QH. Um, and so that's why we have two different coefficients of performances. All right, so anyway, we have equations for refrigerators, equations for heat pumps, separate and different from equations of heat engines. Okay. So remember our coefficient of performance equations for refrigerators and heat pumps. If th these are for any refrigerator and any heat pump, but if we know it's a Carnot refrigerator or a Carnot heat engine, then we know that it's operating on all reversible uh, processes. Um, or, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going through these isothermal uh, processes. Um, all right, so because these are all reversible, we know that the ratio, remember the ratio of QH to QL, is equal to the ratio of TH to TL. So now we have another equation, but only use this equation for a reversible refrigerator uh, and it is 1 over TH over TL minus 1. Or if it's a reversible heat pump, the coefficient of performance is 1 over 1 minus TL over TH. And, you know, write those down very carefully. Use them very carefully. All right. Um, this is for a refrigerator. This is for a heat pump. Only, this is only for if they're reversible because we replace the QHs and QLs with THs and TLs. Again, that the can't emphasize enough. THs and TLs have to be absolute temperatures. All right, so this is the Carnot COP. This is the COP if we know it's a Carnot refrigerator. If we're told it's Carnot heat pump, or if we're told, hey, it is the best, right? The ideal, the maximum, the highest theoretical coefficient of performance that we could get uh, out of any refrigerator and heat pump that could possibly be invented, that, that's this Carnot refrigerator and Carnot heat pump, okay? So a new equation right here, we replace the QHs and QLs over THs and TLs because of the fact that for reversible processes, those ratios, ratios are uh, equal, all right? So let's practice some problems.